What's up again guys? Yeah, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Dovahkiin and welcome back to Let's Play Mutant Year Zero. And uh, before we begin, be sure to hit on the subscribe button for more great videos. The previous episode was also a review on my mid-game loadouts, weapon upgrades, and mods. And if you want to get hold of that info, the link is in the description. Today's map is part of the main quest, Rescue Hammond, and it's quite lengthy so without further ado, let's just jump right in. No one's been this far south before. From here on, we don't know anything but the stories. Like the house-sized war machines, dead in the fields, and other things. There you go, another Bushmag. By the way, episode 10 was about Bushmags, and the link is in the description as well. Heavily armored, steel teeth, must have been some combat machine. Got some ghouls up ahead guarding the gate. Let's do this. I want to party, man! I don't want to work for the Nova Set! Why are we doing this? Watch what you say! The agents are watching us here, right? So, shut up! Get back to work! Get this through your heads. The sacred mushrooms are not to be eaten. They can be used only for holy ritual. So I ate a mushroom. So what? Rainboy's not gonna find me. My skull's too thick. I told you to split it with me. Tell me what happened. Did you see the ancients? Hell no. I saw some purple. And the purple laughed at me. So I started dropping. Then I took a piss. That felt real good. So what's the big deal? Sacred mushroom. Stupid Novus Act. Phony! Overhead dialogues or simply the conversations enemies have when you go near them is nothing new. But uh, in this map, it's obvious that uh, once those dialogues end, specific enemies start their patrols and break off from their groups. Hence, you can silently pick them off. So, the key here is just to listen to what they have to say and wait for the ambush. I'm just gonna quickly equip the Pyro Armor to Borman.
messing with. You're gonna die someday, right? Remember that these ghouls were talking about keeping an eye on their medbot. That said, medbot is just farther northwest, straight ahead from where we are. You can actually pick off that bot. But uh, my plan is just to include it in this next fight, which will be as loud as fuck. And yes, you can use your loud weapons here, because uh, they won't alert the other groups. By the way, I replaced Dux with Magnus, because I need to mind control that tank. Thank <laughs> you. 
Designed plan. Precisely, old woman. Couldn't have said it better myself. The best scope in the game. And uh, upon reaching level 50, Iridia will sell this in her shop. It frustrates me that the once compliant subjects have now become very intemperate and aggressive. Within the group, a sub-faction has developed, with Plutonia as the leader. Our hardships in the zone have convinced Plutonia that the world needs to be reset. These radical notions worry me. We are very close to the facility, once we are safe and confident that Plutonia and the others will become more manageable. How many times have I told you that the mushrooms are sacred tools for my mind, not yours? My mind is good mind. Take mine. Your mind is nothing. We need to get as much food as possible into the sanctum before the cleansing of the Ark. Now get to work. My mind is not my mind. Not my mind. You brain-head simpleton! Just leave! Go on patrol! It may seem that Brolangren's group is separate from the tanks, cause uh, there's some distance between them, but not. They are actually in a single group, and uh, to make things easier, I will fight this battle on two fronts. Magnus and Selma on the tank, and yes, Selma will replace Pharaoh, cause I need her twitch shot. And Borman will go lone wolf on Brolangren. And uh, don't worry about Borman, cause he's gonna be wearing the Helm of Wisdom, which makes him immune against Chain Lightning. As per Lundgren, besides being named after the composer of this game's original soundtrack, Robert Lundgren, he can buff other enemies. And uh, I don't know what the effects are, but one thing is clear. If he dies, the buffed enemy dies too. So just focus fire him. I'm going alone.
Anyway, I'm gonna hug Rush the buffed hunter to make this fight a 1-1. One -one. Great work! And that is how you make things easy. Okay, let's go back to the Elder and hear him out on something. But of course, before that, this map's loot recap. all there is for now thanks for watching also check out other videos from sabbath man philippines and don't forget to subscribe see you on my next vid peace out y'all